So I was just having a look on the actual internet today. Like it just popped up on my phone and uh, who doesn't love a bit of EVE Online news, especially when it comes up, even though I haven't played EVE Online in about a year. I still keep up with some of the stuff that's going on. I keep up with some of like the in-game stories and a lot of the old articles that come up on the Imperium News Network and stuff like that. It's always interesting to find out what's going on in EVE Online. There's always something mental going on. Some earth shattering, life changing experiences going on. But I found this random article from Kotaku that was on... Uh, yesterday i believe yesterday morning this came up and it's been like dotted all over the bloody reddit it's like people are commenting and complaining about certain things and i thought we could just talk about it today for you guys that don't really like follow on the reddit and blah 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 but are still interested like me in some of the eve online news that's out there so with the title is i mean it's eve online facing a second summer of rage fan outcry i mean they they dramatized the living shit out of it but and then the subtitle ccp games tried to new monetization amid a ship shortage and it's backfired so that sort of grabs your attention into the actual article it's not completely just about the. i mean the monetization part of the article is really small fry compared to some of the other stuff that's in there i mean the monetization thing is just a pop-up for the first ship that comes up when you like lose when you're a new player and they say oh if you buy this you can get a new ship for only five dollars which for me isn't a big deal like i don't really care plex has been in a game for a goddamn long time and it's like something that doesn't matter now if it pops up saying if you buy this mega pack of mega poo and blah 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 and get all this shit in there and that pops up on your screen when you die to make yourself like i, I don't know i hate those shady tactics in games i play mobile games i have no idea why i play mobile games if i actually hate that kind of monetization in fucking different games like i'm in the wrong i should definitely think about finding something else to play when it comes to the monetization but anyway let's go through what the article's talking about now i will leave the link to this article down in the description if you're more of a like reading kind of person rather than going through a video because i know a lot of the eo guys they don't like a youtube video and then like there's so many complaints about why there's no eve online youtubers because the community shits on them 99 percent of the time so everyone's too scared to make bloody videos for eve online there are a few like the lone wolf etc that i enjoy watching he gives me my weekly updated news and all that sort of stuff i'll enjoy watching his content but anyway i'm sidetracking again i'm going off on my little tangents I'm going to try and not do that because it's kind of a long post. So it goes on to talk about like in 2011, donkeys years ago. Can't believe that is like 10 years ago now that the first sort of summer of rage thing happened where they were complaining about like basically just to cut this a little bit short, CCP turned around and they re uh, some like letters and stuff were released, leaked, I should say, not released, that were like greed is good and blah, blah, blah. And they tried to bring all these monetization issues into the actual game of EVE Online 10 years ago. And that, that really did fall on its head. Everyone went mental. CCP had to do a whole change of what it was going to do. The players all got up and just said, nah, mate, that ain't happening. And it didn't happen. But obviously, progressively, as we know recently, there's a lot of different things being added monetization-wise to the store. There's like SP packs and stuff you can get now. There's shit packs of fittings and blah, blah, blah. And the skill books come with them. There's all kinds of random monetization shit on the actual game now. But the article does go on to talk about like the how the sentiments of back then are actually starting to bubble up again, calling for mass unsubscribing of accounts to push their point forward. There are people on Reddit that are saying, we all need to stand up to this and unsubscribe so they lose money. It's the only way for them to listen. And there's like widespread criticism of decisions made surrounding the game especially when it comes to a lot of the industry stuff how they've sort of squished the amount of resources you can get the like the amount of resources is so much lower than it used to be raw calls got nerfed and then they they nerfed the amount of resources you can get in belts and so the amount of people that are in no second they're out there with their raw calls mining even though you can still make a decent amount there's so much less resources around and depending on how many people are in there and their raw calls really lessens the amount of minerals you can actually pull in yourself unless you're doing it for like one of the big null blocks because then they all compile all their gear together and they can still carry on doing what they're doing but if you're a smaller corp it does cause a little bit of an issue now because the community itself cannot think of a new name they've just called it the sum of rage 2.0 which i always find quite funny i mean just just like, I'm not the most creative person when it comes to naming shit. I've named myself Sovereign in every bloody game I can remember forever. But I mean, at least stop running the coattails of something that happened a long time ago over a completely different issue. Yes, there's the monetization pop-up. Yes, there's more monetization. But this issue isn't about monetization. This issue is about CCP just not giving enough information and then saying, oh, you just have to trust us. You have to believe us. This is not the actual case and blah, 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 blah. 
that gets put in there. I'll, I'll go through that in a minute. That's that's some bullshit right there. That, that actually pissed me off. I don't even play the game anymore. So they go on to say that the players are upset. And I did go on Reddit and I did go have a look. And there are a lot of players that are upset. And the actual thing they're upset about is the actual scarcity of resources. How much more you have to actually spend on ships and modules now. So it's become back to being a full-time job from when it wasn't so bad at being a full-time job. Just to get enough money to actually PvP in something that isn't a throwaway frigate because not everyone wants to run around pvp in a throwaway frigate but we all know as we know i was the same the eve online community is very 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 vocal about how everyone should play the game there's no other way than the eve online way of playing eve online i know that doesn't make any sense but it's the god's honest truth like if you're doing something that uh, like the vast majority of eve online players don't do they'll shit on you like a rabbit you just screamed in its ear so as we talked about previously they talked about how powerful mining vessels the rock how powerful it was back in the day when it was just like a when it started off as a buff bot and then moved on from being a buff ship with your command modules for your boosting and stuff like that it went from that to becoming like a really powerful mining ship with the actual mining drones that came out at the time and then they were nerfed those mining drones were nerfed which nerfed the rock wall a lot of people went bit mental about that it was like the apocalypse when that happened it was like oh it's gonna ruin the game the game's gonna die because they just ruined rock calls and blah 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 and everyone just like they just built out an orca and loads of hulks instead and people are still using rock calls now it's like not changed and much you just get less it's not the end of the world well it wasn't the end of the world until they made the whole like resource scarcity shit happen where they added loads of stuff to industry when well, i say loads of stuff they added one resource to a lot of different things which added a lot more complexity to how much you could actually build with the industry and blah 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 at least as far as i know i've only been keeping up through the news through the posts through the reddit and blah 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 if you got if i say something wrong then do what all leave online players do and shit on me down in the comments i will feel no way about it and I will thank you for taking the time to correct me on that shit. Now, the reason why CCP sort of made all these changes with the scarcity and stuff is because there was so many bloody titans in the world. Like, so many titans in the world of EVE Online that it just became stupid. The overproduction of those titans, when they were really hard to get, then they added the whole thing with the raw calls and how good they were at mining. And titans became a lot easier, especially for the null blocks to, like completely stack the amount of titans that you could have got so between like 2019 onwards they've been making changes with the industry with the resources where the resources are how much resources are in different areas to make it harder to make those titans but what they did when they actually edited all this stuff to stop them like the proliferation of everything they made it hard to make everything frigates destroyers cruisers battle cruisers battleships titans dreadnoughts etc carriers super carriers all the ships now are a lot harder and cost a lot more than they did before like sometimes in some cases two to three times more even some of the standard modules and stuff that you're creating because obviously everything in eve online is player made mostly i mean you do have your like blue loot from wormholes etc that's created from thin air and you sell that to npcs and blah 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 but we're just talking about the industry stuff right now. And a lot of players are starting to feel sort of really left behind because of the amount of inflation that's happening and the amount of time they're having to put in. They're wanting to bring new players in. Now, gaming today, they don't want 40-hour work weeks where you're like literally having your job, you're coming home, you're sitting on EVE Online and you're working even more hours just to make enough ISK to PvP at the weekend. Nobody wants to do that anymore. It's one of the main reasons that I stopped playing after 16 years of playing the game i no longer had the time what was required to fund what i like to do in the game like it was it became insanity now there are ways you can do it but i was now i bet there's going to be people in the comments to say well you could have just done this and made hundreds of millions and blah 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 if i don't enjoy a mechanic in the game doesn't matter how much money it makes i'm not going to fucking do it like who people who do that are literally masochists i cannot sit there for like 30 hours a week grinding out something that I don't enjoy. That is like insanity to me. Just goes to show about like how much CCP is caring about the balancing at the moment because there's certain things that are much better at making ISK than there are others. When it should be sort of, I mean, I don't want it to be completely 100% balanced all the way across the board. I don't want everything that you do to be equal. It has to be the risk versus reward. But when there's like risk, I mean, I was a wormholer for as long as the wormholes have been open. So I obviously made a lot of money. I am not going to argue with that. A lot of people in Nullsec complained that we made too much money compared to Nullsec, but there was more risk in wormholes. So they brought the wormholes down a little bit compared and brought it to more comparable levels with Nullsec, how they make money. 
because that's where the majority of players are and they complained and bitched and moaned and they ruined my wormhole experience. That was another reason why I kind of slowed down a bit. They do, they made some changes to wormholes and then like the amount of work and the risk versus reward that was putting at the time. I heard there's been some changes recently, but I haven't played in just over a year. So anyway, that's another tangent. We're going on for tangents again. We need to get away from those tangents. They go on to talk about like the, the past, like the latest war, how long that's been going on right now. It's just over a year and the financial toll on the people that are actually in the game right now and how much they've actually lost and how hard it is for i don't know these null blocks according to this article because i haven't seen too many people complaining from the null blocks that they're not being able to make more ships after they've lost them these guys have already got trillions and trillions of bloody isk sitting in their bank accounts it doesn't matter to them so i'm not sure where the article really goes on to say about that like i don't really know where they get that from but they talk about how the players are having a lot of stress some tension among a lot of the players because of how much their pocketbooks are going down how much their isk is going down and how hard it is to replace some of these bigger i mean some of the bigger ships like you're talking about your five billion isk six billion up to 30 billion isk ships that are getting exploded that are now becoming more expensive and how the production chains and the cost and everything has gone drastically has gone quite a lot higher since the days when i played and people are getting burned out because they're being overtaxed on the amount they have to farm to be able to enjoy what they want to enjoy and I'm, i mean some people really enjoy just grinding out no sick anomalies like they just enjoy it it just happens and they like it i mean i'm not gonna say that they're bad people because they like it but they do it's insane to me that people enjoy that sort of thing but each to their own so the main point of this actual video is to talk about the difference between the dau and the pcu now the pcu is the peak concurrent users and there's obviously like there's like there's even offline.net which shows the like peak concurrent users and that shows how many people are in the game and spend a decent amount of time in the game and as you can see over the past little while now we're in july there's a big old dip now that big old dip could be compounded by certain things it could be the fact that summer's coming along people are out doing their stuff with their families they don't have as much time to play also the fact that the covid19 is starting to like sort of lift a lot of the restrictions for us especially when we're doing a lot of things outside now we don't have to wear a lot of masks and stuff especially in some countries and we can actually go out and enjoy ourselves in groups so that's going to start actually like bringing back a lot of people especially there's going to be a, like a period average for the amount for the past year where there's been a lot of players that came back to play because they're stuck indoors and have more time to play games they do talk about that in this article somewhere along the line but players have started to see this big old dip that's coming in and now they've seen this big old dip they're starting to worry that the game is losing a lot because of all the changes that are being made and rightly so so there should be a little bit of worry because the players give more of a shit about the PCU because the PCU is the amount of time you're actually playing in the game. Like that's what part of the metrics is for it. So it's a longer period of time. And that's what the players care about. Now CCP go on to say, well, you shouldn't look at this because we have the numbers for the DAU, which is your daily average users or something along those lines. I mean, I can't remember exactly what it is, but that could be someone logging in for four and a half seconds and then logging straight back out again. That adds a number. Now people in like companies and in the upper management love these numbers because they can throw these at the actual board and they'll say, look, guys the investors and stuff. Look, guys, we made this much. Look how many players have been logging in recently. This is amazing. And the PCU doesn't bode well it's not the highest metric they can use for their investors and for the players to make them feel like there's still a lot of people in the game so as i said we care about the pcu they care about the dau which is honestly not that much of a big deal now the thing that pisses me off the most is that ccp say well we have the dau and the dau shows this amount of numbers but they won't say shit to anyone like they won't tell you what those numbers are they won't tell you anything because someone some eve giga brain is going to go in there and say blah 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 and they're going to rip that number to shreds because to the actual players, that number means absolutely bloody nothing because we know what the metrics are. So someone's going to shit all over that and then they'll get upset and then it'll go to the players and the players will like reiterate what that person said and it'll go on Reddit and then everyone will be uproar. And CCP know that. So they'll never actually reveal those numbers because we know it's just whitewashed. They have revealed those numbers in the past, but they haven't revealed the numbers since this whole PCU dip has been happening. And they're starting to blame the players, saying that the play is the players' fault because it's their perception instead of actually looking at the reality of the game itself when our reality is just one thing we see a big old dip in player attention and we start to worry a little bit it's normal and they should be worrying as well which they probably are but they want to mitigate what's going on now then there's this sort of pop-up that's just been added in and ccp went on and just said look 
there was something that popped up. We normally go through a set of things that we need to do. So we, we give the idea, we pitch the idea. We then pitch the idea to the CSM. The CSM said, well, the players might not like that. The players will like that. That's not that big of a deal. It doesn't matter. It's going to be quite neutral, blah, blah, blah. Then they put it into the game and that's how it is. But they skip the whole CSM with this five like euro or five dollar pop up that comes up when you die. And they blamed it on the fact that they sort of like they pushed too quickly on the content that's coming out. They knew exactly what they were doing when they did that. If they didn't, I don't know what's worse. If CCP didn't know what they were doing and did it by accident, which makes them incompetent, or they did know what they're doing with these monetization options, etc. And they are just willingly trying to fuck people. I don't know which is worse. Maybe you can let me know down below which of those versions is worse for you because I like I would rather them be shady bastards than be incompetent, to be perfectly honest. And there is a big old Reddit post. Now, if you go on this actual link, you can click there, go straight to the Reddit post where they're all talking about this. I mean, they're all being very, very, very angry about it. And they go on to talk about how there's like two things that EVE players care about. And that's like growing newer players, making their retention better, giving them things to do so they can in the future fight more people because that's the whole point of eve you want to go in there and fight but then there's the whole idea that this scarcity is actually the scarcity of resources is actually stopping people from wanting to risk their ships anymore and there's a lot of people just hiding in stations and doing all that sort of stuff when they usually would be out there fighting there was a lot of complaints on the reddit thread of people saying that i'm going out where i could usually get a fight now i get nothing and here, here's their excuse that they gave for this pop-up coming in and why it came in and why there wasn't anything said about it etc they said our ethos our motto has been run fast learn fast in the case of the pop-up we had a team that ran fast got these offers in and this time around they probably ran a bit too fast bullshit they knew what they were doing they didn't speak to the csm beforehand the csm is a focus group of players i mean we all know who they are uh in the face of ccp on behalf of the players they are under nda so they can talk about anything that they want to talk about obviously there's shit that gets spread there's been a very long lived loving past of people spreading shit around and after like they spoke to the csm after the csm got in contact with them and said what is this bullshit then then made adjustments to that offer now ccp swift went on to say one of the problems is that over 10,000 ships explode every day in eve this particular contextual offer applies to maybe one percent of those ships and they're sort of making excuses for why they can sort of rip you out of more of your money especially for the newer players now if i was a newer player and i was going in and i was paying a sub for a game and i'm starting getting micro microtransaction pop-ups especially in this day and age i would just shit on the game and leave like it's just you can tell when a company is becoming a microtransaction hell because it's just normal for these microtransactions to pop up with a sub like it makes no sense to me obviously they need to make money then they go on to talk about the dwindling pcu is concerned and the data on ccp side tell a slightly different story but then they don't tell us literally anything about it. So like there's the whole thing going on there. They talk about the pandemic stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And they don't know if the Summer of Rage 2.0 is going to be going forward. Now I'll be interested to see if that does go forward. So I'll be keeping an eye out on that. That'll be quite interesting. So what do you guys think is actually happening with EVE Online? Do you think they're putting the scarcity in there to add more monetization to make more money? Or are they doing the scarcity to, are they adding the scarcity of resources and ruining the sort of market as we know it right now to stem the tide of the larger ships being smashed all over the actual market itself and blah 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 like, let me know what your thoughts are on this i mean this kataku so we can take it with a pinch of salt there's probably stuff in there that's dramatized and over the top and just taking certain reddit like questions and stuff it is a news site obviously they're gonna need to pick the best stuff on there so there may be some naughtiness in there but let me know down below as i said if i get anything wrong shit on me down below if i get anything right shit on me down below that's how youtube works i want to thank you all for watching fly safe and avoid local chess games